a pentagonal pyramid with base sides 40 mm and the height 65 mm is lying on the horizontal plane on one of its triangular faces. The axis of the pyramid is parallel to the vertical plane. A horizontal section plane bisects the axis of this solid. Draw the front view and the sectional top view of this pyramid. So this is a pyramid which is lying on the HP on one of its triangular faces. And the section plane is horizontal and bisects the axis. First, draw the reference line XY. We will draw the primary view as if the pyramid is kept on the horizontal plane with base lying on the HP. We will draw the top view in such a way that one side of the base is perpendicular to the reference line. This is one side which is perpendicular to the reference line XY. We will use the exterior angle method to make the top view which will be a pentagon of sides 40 mm. The exterior angle between two sides of a pentagon is 72 degree. This is the top view of the pentagonal pyramid with one side CD perpendicular to the reference line, which means it is perpendicular to the vertical plane. Now we will draw the primary front view of the pyramid. Draw the projectors which will be drawn as construction lines. This line will be center line because it passes through the center of the pyramid top view. We will extend it further as we will draw the second top view on the right side of the primary view. Let us also find the center of this pentagon which will be the top view of the apex of the pyramid denoted as O. This is the axis of the pyramid and will be drawn as the center line. Now we will draw the front view with the base on the reference line. This is because the pyramid is sitting on the HP. The height of this pyramid is 65 mm and hence the apex will be 65 mm above the reference line. The front view of the apex will be on the center line which is the axis of the pyramid.
use the outline or thick line for the front view of slant edges of the pyramid. This is the front view of the slant edge OB. Label all the vertices as A prime, B prime and so on. The apex will be labeled as O prime. For dimensioning, use either the aligned or the unidirectional dimensioning system. Do not mix both systems in one drawing. Here we will use the aligned dimensioning system. Now we will rotate the front view such that the triangular face OCD is on the HP. This means that the O'C' and O'D' edges will be on the reference line. Locate the point C' and D' on the reference line. They coincide with each other. Bring the O'C' length using the compass to the reference line as shown here. Now also bring other edges of the front view to reconstruct the front view but in tilted way. This new position is for this pyramid lying on one of its triangular faces. Similarly, draw the other edge front view and the center line. Now we will mark the midpoint on the axis of the pyramid which will be 32.5 mm from the base or from the apex. We will draw the front view of the section plane which will be a line as the section plane is a horizontal plane bisecting the axis. So draw the cutting plane line parallel to the reference line passing through the midpoint of the axis. Now we can mark the points where the cutting plane is intersecting the edges of the pyramid. P prime and Q prime are the points where the cutting plane is intersecting with the base sites CB and DE respectively. R prime and S prime are the points where the cutting plane is intersecting with the slant edges OB and OE. 
at T prime the cutting plane is intersecting with the slant edge OA. Now we should draw the projectors from the rotated front view down to obtain the final top view as shown here. Draw projectors from each vertex and intersection points. These projectors should be construction line or thin lines. Likewise, draw projectors from the primary top view for each vertex as shown here. Identify each point in the final top view by following the projectors from the rotated front view and the primary top view. Now first connect the vertices and the apex showing the top view of the edges. However, we should recognize that some of the vertices will not appear in the sectional top view as the top portion of the pyramid is removed after sectioning and not shown here. Now identify the intersection points between the cutting plane and the edges of the pyramid. Connect the intersection points by thick outlines. This will be the top view of the section and represents true shape of the section. The vertices of the pyramid that will be visible in the sectional top view are C, D and the apex O. Connect them also with outlines. We have obtained the sectional top view of the pyramid. Now we will do the hatching of only the section part of this pyramid which is seen here as PRTSQP.
For hatching a sectioned area, you should use parallel thin lines roughly 2 mm apart. We have drawn the front view and the sectional top view of the pentagonal pyramid which is lying on the horizontal plane on one of its triangular faces. The sectional or cutting plane is horizontal and bisects the axis of the pyramid. Thanks for watching this video. 